friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a science experiment on air resistance. Let's begin. For the first experiment, we have two A4 sheets and they are the same size and the same weight. Now we are going to throw, throw them from here. They fell on the same time. Let's do the same with a book and a paper. And the book and a paper are same size and also the book is heavier than the paper. The book fell before the paper. This looks like that this is happening because of the weight of the book. As the book is heavier than the paper, it seems that is the reason that the book fell first before the paper. And when we did the same thing with two sheets which were of the same weight, they both fell almost at the same time. But is it really true that weight is the only factor here? Let's see one more experiment. Now let's crumble this paper. Now let's see which one falls first uh, for, for the scrambled paper and the paper and the normal paper. Now we saw that both the sheets which were of the same weight did not fall at the same time. So weight is not the only factor here. So what is the other force that is causing the normal sheet to fall slowly as compared to the crumbled sheet? So this is happening because of air resistance which is a force caused by the air opposing the movement of the objects. So air resistance is a force that acts in the opposite direction of moving objects or in the opposite direction of gravity. This is a fancy way of saying that air resists or slows things that are moving. So the air resistance on the crumbled paper was less as compared to the plain paper. That is the reason the crumbled paper was moving fast as compared to the plain paper. Now let's try to prove this with one final experiment. Now let's try a different thing. Let's try to put the paper on top of the book. When we keep the paper on top of the book, we expect the book to go fast and the paper to go slowly. But that doesn't happen. Because now there is very little air between the book and the paper. So the gravitational force is more as compared to the air resistance. Now let's try by putting the paper below the book. When we keep the book on top of the paper, the force because of the book is more as compared to the air resistance. So they both fall at the same time. So this is happening because of air. But what will happen if there is no air? So if we are in vacuum, then there the paper and the book will fall at the same time. Ever wondered how parachutes work and allow us to have a safe landing? That's because of air resistance. Hope you like this video. Do try this experiment at home. Thank you.